Alrighty, here we are back at Dega for 2018 in the NASCAR iRacing Series. But before we get to the NASCAR iRacing Series, we're going to have a little bit of fun here in the NASCAR Xfinity Series on iRacing, otherwise known as the B Fixed Series. So, short 40 lap race on the cards for us today. We are the number three car in top split of what I think is actually five or six splits. This was a huge entry. I suppose you'd always. Always is when it comes down to Dega. But yeah, no, it should be interesting to say the least. It's going to come down to brute luck in the end. But one thing we can do to make it a little bit easier on ourselves is hopefully get a decent starting position. So I'm just going to back this baby up. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> There's nothing to say you can't do a burnout, but you just can't nose up against the wall and and do that. So anyway, run right up against the fence for the first lap. It will come straight back down to the bottom for the second flying lap. So once again in the Mustang as per usual with this awesome Star Trek livery, the lap livery or paint scheme. I do love my pop culture and Star Trek is my favourite. <laughs> so a big shout out to David Vieira for the paint scheme. He is my sort of crew chief slash, slash spotter at times in the NASCAR iRacing series. And is definitely the best eye in the sky you could possibly have. Hence the nickname. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Alrighty, here we go. So once again, we are the number three car as we were in the NIS race at Richmond. Uh, once again doing it for Dale. Let's see if we can live up to the Intimidator's skill on these super speedways. Alright, so now we're going to let it drop to the bottom. One more lap. Alrighty, here we go. against that yellow line. Just absolutely no steering input. Across the line, 419, pole position. All right, there's the ticket flag. Oh no, 5302. Oh, wait, what? It said 419 there for a second. Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay, I'm tripping. Why are we in eighth? What the fuck? Wow, I must be tripping balls, because I swear to God that said 43419. What? What the? Fuck. I am super confused right now. I'm I'm gonna have to go and take another look at the replay. I must have been looking at something else. Wow, we're eight tenths off the pace, uh, eight hundredths off the pace, which around here is quite a lot. I mean, I don't know how I could go eight hundredths of a second faster. I'm going to have to go and look up, see what these other guys are doing, because that was incredibly slow. Wow, okay. 
Huh. Very weird. Hold on. Let's just have a look. At the lap. Was I not on the bottom properly or something? No, it's too late now. Weird. I mean, another thing I don't know whether these guys are doing or not, and I'm not doing it because I believe it should be illegal, but you see here, you can actually... I mean, I'm quite away from the yellow line there, but I'm not sure if some of these guys are actually going below the yellow line here. It is illegal, I believe. Um, and you can get suspended for it, but I just don't know how I can make up eight tenths. That's crazy. That is beyond crazy. I mean, this is 25 car field, and we're starting ninth, so we are right in the shit. <laughs> oh, God, that's not what I was looking for. I thought we put it on the pole, because I swear to God, I saw a 53419 pop up. And I was like, okay, yeah, that, that's good, that makes sense, I don't understand how I could have gone any quicker, but obviously not. Wow, that is a shock. One lap to green, line up on I'm the inside, big road the, is closed. I'm going to have a look at the uh, recording afterwards and see what I, well, try and see what I saw, but that was really weird. I must be seriously tripping balls right now. Alright, well at least we're on the inside, although I'm not sure how the outside line is going to perform here. I haven't raced here in the Xfinity Series car before, so this should be interesting to say the least. I've raced at Daytona in the Xfinity Series, but not here. But no, this should be fun. Wow, fuck me. The fourth, fifth from last. How the hell did that happen? I really need to go and rethink what I'm doing on that qualifying lap because at Daytona I put it on pole three times once in the NIS, once in the trucks and once, well yeah, once in the Xfinity series by doing that same thing that just sort of back it up a little bit, burn up so that you don't um, so that you can still exit the speed at the right pit speed if that makes sense uh, exit the pits at the right speed on the speed limit but uh, I don't know I'm so so confused anyway we'll just have to shut up and race our way through the field now here last year in the NIS I had five races in total at Talladega and four out of the five I crossed the white flag in the top five uh, sorry in the top four and then I but coming around to cross the finish every single time I was outside the top 15. So four races out of five, I crossed the white flag in the top four and didn't finish the race. Well, finish the race, but outside the top 15 due to last lap carnage. So hopefully this year we can turn it around. I just, well, I don't know what is going on with this internet, but I am got a little bit of lag going on. I'll just make sure nothing is running in the background. seems to be off. Oh, come on, what am I doing? Alright, good luck everyone. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, we're going to be starting in first gear. We've got some of the guys that we usually run with. Ian T. Smith, Blake Bryant, Jonathan Shipman. There's a couple of guys that we actually raced with in the, the Jake Goodwin as well. A couple of guys that we raced with in the NASCAR iRacing series. Besides that, that's all I can recognise. I just... Oh god, I've got to figure out what's going on with this internet. I hope it calms down in a second. This is rather annoying. It's not too bad, but I'm just going to have to lay off the guy in front of his bumper. Get ready, going green. I hate it when this happens, especially at super speedway. Super speedway is just deadly. Alright, here we go. The pace car is in. Outside. Start 
stay low, there's a car on the high side. Oh, come there. on, internet, for fuck's sake. Sort your shit out. Stay oh. low, there's a car on the high side. Keep low. to actually get up to I think third or fourth at one at one point but I'm not enjoying this internet issue I'm having right now so I'm just gonna sit back here for a bit. Seems to have calmed down on this lap. Car outside. Still there. That's better. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. There's been all green flags so far. Stupid, come on, sort it out. Still there, hold your line. God damn it. Clear, outside. Still there. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. 
You're on the bottom, three wide. Hold your line, car outside, two wide. Stay low. Stay low. Still there. Oh. You're on the bottom, three wide. The yellow flag right. is out. Line oh, up, shit. Single file. Bid road that is closed. Close. Let the eleven car by. That was scary close. That's why I love being on the bottom because you can literally just well, jump the halfway to the infield. I heard you three wide on the bottom. And that was gonna happen. <sighs> yeah, that's why I was just trying to ride there. Everyone's always just trying to ride until they decide no, to make I a three wide. A couple of laps ago. The help time was getting crazy. Well, after that, we actually jumped up into six. Now, the problem here at Talladega is these laps just go on and on and on and on. Now, unfortunately, we're going to be restarting in 8th, unless someone pits, so hopefully one car can pit. Yeah, the old six and fourteen weren't uh pushing together to go back. Come on, we need one of these guys. Well NASCAR pit. made that bumping rule in the Infinity series. And when I and when I racing that code won't allow for that. Yep. Every straightaway out there we're getting square like. I'm pretty sure at Daytona I ran like four of these races. And I got bumper hooked in all of them. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a two cars pit. Ugh, we need just one. <laughs> it's going to be starting six and on the outside, so we're going to have to try to get to the bottom as quick as possible. Right now, while this is going on, I'm just going to see what's causing my internet to be slow. Pit road is closed. Alright, hold on. Let me try and figure this shit out, shall we? The, uh, there's this, like, black thing on the, or oh, it looks like there's a border now, that's just because I'm in a different tab. <laughs> Hey Joe, do you uh, you avoid all that? I had a little bit of damage. I don't think it's anything serious. I just uh, I just the realized there's three Josephs in this race. <laughs> Joe Thompson, and me, and Joseph Cheesek. Cheesek. I'm gonna say Cheesek. Cheesek. <laughs> no, that can't be right. Alright, so unfortunately we're going to be restarting on the outside. Which is never fun. Around here, you always want to be started restarting on the inside. Although, 
if you can get everyone to sort of jump up, it can be somewhat of a decent thing to have. Alrighty, let's boogie. So, just uh, back to full screen here, I believe. I have, no I haven't, hold on. No, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. Alright, I believe we have the internet fixed now, I'm not sure. Alright, here we go. So, there would seem to be... A lot of people running into each other. 22... Lap, uh, 22 cars left. Stop right in front of me. Yeah, the car in front of me stopped. And I assume the car in front of him probably stopped. That's what happens. No, I actually went to that gear. I couldn't go. I'm back. Alrighty, here we go. Of course. So we're going to try and get to the inside as quick as possible. This is going to be fun. I feel it in my heart. We gonna die. Get ready, going green. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go back to green flag racing. Finally. It's like every caution is like three years long around here. The pace car is in. I think we can push now. The internet seems to have calmed itself down. I mean, my lag's fine. It's just my... I don't know. Green flag, green flag. Really, You're no point starting in, in uh, starting in second there. Inside. You're in fifth. Keep oh, wow. All right, we're on Clear the inside. inside. He blinks right as I went to go underneath him. No, nope. I'm here. Baby. Outside. Stay low. Oh come on, internet for fuck's sake. We're fine under caution. Let's just go back to racing. I'm Clear. Fucking. Oh, wow, huge checkups. I'm not gonna bother poking my nose out just yet, there's no point. But no one can push me because I'm too blinky. I don't know if it's this server or what, because I mean, usually I'm fine, um, and my L bar is not moving, so I really don't understand why I'm lagging a bit. But I don't know. Oh well. Car outside. And there they go. Keep low. Once again, it's too early to be on the high side around here.
Oh, what the Low fuck just happened there? I think somebody just died. Yep, somebody just died. I don't know what happened there. No one, no one actually got damage from it. That's the crazy thing. So it must have just. I think there's something wrong with this server. I think this server's playing up because he went through everyone and no one got wrecked. So I think everyone's <laughs> moving around. Because again, my old bar's fine. So if that, if you start lagging, then usually that moves side to side a little bit. Like you just see it glitching from like and two, flickering. Car, uh, we're not getting any car. of that. So I, because I just checked, there's nothing wrong with my internet right now. So obviously something wrong on iRacing's end. But we'll just try and push through it. We are now restarting in fifth. So that helps. It's in the cars. The pit road is now open. Just commit to the bottom, you will go forward. Ball, Everyone tries to go high at this time of the race and just goes backwards in the end. Because there's no point in doing it. <laughs> Catch the ball, car. I mean, I suppose we only got 25 laps left, so we can start to make moves with sort of 10 to go, but up until that point, it's just no point right now. Especially with this lag that seems to be going on with this server. It's <laughs> bloody... Oh, hello. These bloody gearboxes is terrible. <laughs> Not as bad as what they were once upon a time in NASCAR, but... Yep. I really don't understand how, why we can't push in these cars. Like, you barely tap somebody, but then, like, other times you can shove them as hard as you can, and it's not a problem. It requires cooperation between the both Bumpers the two drivers and the cars. connection. <laughs> connection mishaps and two drivers not cooperating and not staying straight, play. that's what causes wrecks. Speed road is closed. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's an echo. I'm telling you. It'll think you're closer than you are, and it'll register contact. What's so stupid is in real life they can literally lock bumpers and not have a problem. And you used to could do that on racing. I don't know what the deal is in these last few years. Because the cars changed, so did our racing's uh, algorithms. Next time cars aren't changed in like five years. Oh, they've changed. Y'all are missing the point. Like in real life, they can push and lock bumpers and not have a problem. Shut the You gotta know how to do it. The Xfinity cars change the package almost every year. The cars look the same, but the package is different. I was gonna say Xfinity cars. They have the bumpers. A couple of years ago, the. They had these really weird fins on the back on the I mean, course where they had like two little edge things that stuck up. The same, honestly. Oh my god, this race is going to take an age. Bullets on the back are different. Not even halfway through yet, and it's almost been 20 minutes. <sighs> this thing goes more than an hour, that's just ridiculous. Plus, they got rid of the Teflon bumper, co and bumper coverings. Jake, is that English? Alright. Yeah, that sort of got me panicking a little bit, this, uh... This internet thing. The coolest race I ever seen at Talladega is when they used to have the COT car and uh, Junior pushed Jimmy to the wind. There's like four cars, actually eight total, crossing the line, and I mean they were within you know hundreds of seconds of each other. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow, Kenseth replacing Trevor Bain in 2019. There you go. You heard it here first, that. <laughs> That's crazy. So Kenseth is back. It's a shame because Trevor Bain, after winning that Daytona 500, there was so much hope for him, and then he just hasn't really done anything in the last four years, five years since. However, Ryan Blaney, on the other hand, is just so good. He's my favourite driver in the Cup Series right now, by far. Love watching Blaney race, and he's really honest as well, and seems like a nice guy away from the track. From what I've seen, anyway. So, looking for the... Uh, that guy to do well the rest of the year. He has pace, he got super unlucky, I think it was Bristol, where he was wrecked, caught up in a wreck in the lead, caught up in a freaking lap car's wreck. But no, hopefully he can get into the chase nice and easy this year and get a win at some point. Although it's going to be tough to beat Harvick. That man is on a mission this year, that's for sure. And Truex, well, Truex is just having your atypical trying to defend the championship unluck, unlucky sort of stretch like what happens to most champions ready. after they win, that's what makes Jimmy Johnson such an incredible talent I reckon, to do it back to back like he has so many times although with the new Chevys it's, unless they figure them out sooner rather than later it's going to be a while before the 48 car returns to that championship alright, anyway that's enough talk about real life let's focus ahead Green flag, green flag. You're back in fifth. Good job. So starting third here is actually quite difficult because you can't Outside. see the leader. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Oh, big move. Clear Just outside. filled that gap. Sorry, mate. Outside. Not doing that. Still too early. Still there. Especially when you chopped in like Keep you did. Low. You can go to the back like you were meant to. <laughs> God, I sound like such a dick. Right, third. Very nice. I love being in third. It's my favourite place to be on a super speedway because you can. You don't have to push, but you can sort of be the first one to react if the first two crash and every, you're sort of behind all the shit in the middle of the pack I just love running third on a super speedway you have full control of the field technically because you don't have to push you can just sit here roll off the throttle without having to worry about you getting into the guy in front's bumper although the guy behind us is looking pretty antsy look at that <laughs> one two three four by I rating is in positions one, two, three, and four right and there's a big one. The yellow flag is out, line up single file. Big road is closed. There was oh no my hold God. again. I don't know why you can't cross my mode. Why is there so many idiots in this series? Just we've had three cautions and we're not even halfway through the race yet, and it's only a fucking forty lap race. <laughs> three cautions in the first twenty laps. We had a decent run going in the first green flag run, but now I mean, my God, it's like been almost half an hour and we're not barely halfway through. I must admit, the full-length race here that they have in the at the end of the year is just ridiculous. It's so long. Oh, my God. What's going on? I need to close my Facebook. Don't text and drive, kids. Good thing is we are starting in third, so we should, oh my god, be able to see what happens, although I, at the same time I don't like being the one that has to push, especially with my connection. But we'll stick around here for a while, and, well, god, it's just so long, <laughs> it's like driving 60 miles an hey, hour on the man, freeway, you got a you just sit in your lane and wait. 
So there are now... 19, 20 cars left in the race, of which I don't know how many have got damaged, but that one was sort of mid-pack. I think that looked like 10th on back. We'll have a look. Yeah, so there's about 17 cars, I think, without damage. Although I'm not 100% certain. Twenty more laps. <sighs> Can only say ton bump draft. Is there someone a lap down on the track? Nope. Come on. My screen is going to have very low visibility by the end of the race. <laughs> I love lamp. I love lamp. Actually, I think the two cars started in front of us in seventh, so... We've both managed to get through the front from the inside line, but we're going to have to get this restart right or else he's going to jump in line. Jake Goodwin and Jonathan Shipman, who we usually run against, have both been caught up in accidents, so unfortunately their day is, well, almost done. But they'll be back in the NIS this week, which is half race distance, so it's not the full race distance like what we do at the end of the year. But still, it's such a freaking long way, especially when you have a caution field race like this one. I mean, unfortunately, we're going to have to do all the pushing here, so it's going to be down to, like what I said before, the connection to be stable, the driver in front to stay as straight as possible, and for me to line his bumper up correctly. That's the three key parts to bump drafting on iRacing, and if you don't, if you have one of those slightly out of sync, then it ends up causing 30 cars to be in the fence. So we need to hope to God that get it right. I need to get it right, he needs to get it right, and we have to hope to God that the connection gods on iRacing will help us out. I mean, there's still a little bit of movement, but I just don't understand, because my elbow is fine, so. so it's just really annoying. The problem is, if I if I just lay off his bumper and don't push him, then the outside line is going to overtake, like the whole, there's going to be a line of like 10 cars on the outside that just go flying past us. He's going to get shitty because we're not pushing him, and everyone behind is going to get shitty because I keep having to check up, which is checking up the entire inside line, and causing people to wreck into each other or bump into each other, which is not what we want, so... Come on, iRacing, give me a break. <laughs> Boy, this should be a fun one. Can't wait for the NIS race. I don't, I don't mind this race and sp super speedway races. It's good when you can get through to the final sort of 50 laps. If you get wrecked out in the first 10, 20 laps, it's the, like the worst thing ever. Or if you drop off the pack, or if you get any sort of like damage by running into the back of someone slightly too hard, and your front end gets all squiggled up. If you get, if you get more than 30 seconds of damage around on the, around here on a super speedway, you're basically done. You may as well just park it. That's how much it takes, or well, that's how little it takes to lose speed around here. The aerodynamics are just crucial. 100% crucial. I mean, it's fine. If you have more than 30 seconds, it's fine if you're in a pack, but any sort of engine damage at all, and you're just done. You may as well just go home. Alrighty, to the green. Not long left.
I always like to test for wheel spin on, because here there's like, I'm not sure if you can, we can't quite see because I'm too close to him now, but you see that sort of crack coming out of his left rear, or was coming out of his left rear? The there's like a uh, seam in the track here that's absolutely bloody horrible, green. and Line it will the make the car move, move around heaps, going through the sort of tri trioval here, and... The problem is when someone's rear end slightly moves about due to the tyre falling on and off the seam, then you just, any sort of bump draft at all at that point in time, or touch from behind, or bumper sort of rub, then that just completely turns the car in front, and that's what causes these big wrecks in the dry, in the tri oval at Dega, so you always have to be careful for that running the bottom, which is why, I mean, Daytona is one thing, not pushing through the tri, tri oval because the tri oval, I can't even say it, because the tri oval is so uh, tight and it's actually quite a decent sort of banked corner that you really can't push through the tri oval at Daytona, but here you can't push through it because even though it's very wide, there's that bloody awful seam, which is what we're going to have to be careful of here in a sec. Also going to have to watch that oil temp. Oh, sorry, water temp. Or well, both, really. Because if we're going to be pushing this guy underneath his bumper, then she's going to get hot. Get ready, going green. Alrighty, here Took away slowly, but we're off and moving. Wow. The guy behind me got an awful start. Outside, clear outside. Okay, you're in second. Oh, that would be the apron. Guy's doing a good job of keeping it steady. Oh, you can see that. See that uh, seam I was talking about. Oh, come Stay 
low side. Oh shit shit. Sorry. Keep it straight, bud. Slowly in a better position Stay than that. You didn't need to fucking just brat. Still there. Stay high to the car on the low side. Keep high. The next car's the leader. Still there. Stay high to the car on the low side. Stay high, you're back in fourth position. Stay high. Keep high. Oh man, this is intense. Still there. Sake, I always keep it still, bros. Ah. Damn it. I couldn't get in line with him. Fuck's sake, I'm not sure if that was my fault or what, but I had to check up and everyone behind me got wrecked. Yeah, Blue, you're doing good pushing, just make sure you're a little bit center. Can't buy, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. You got 10 laps Keep to it go. straight, bros, and I'll do that. When you first lay into me, it's turning me left. Fantastic. Road is now open. Yeah, well, I thought you were going to get turned right into my door there for a second. <laughs> Why am yeah, I I've had a kind of close. Well, I mean, if you had it just, just stuck scared. behind me when I pulled out, instead of making it three wide, we would never have had that issue. And you keep pushing up off the corner and then coming back down on my nose. So I'm like trying to go up to the wall to go I with you. The and I come back to the bottom. Back to the field. It's just fucking annoying. It's just Dega. This track's just. Are the white so guys People bobbling side to side. Uh, I, I, I say this every time we do an Xfinity plate race, but what I, I might be beating a dead horse here, but if you go to a 14 to 1 steering box, it's going to make your steering and everything so much smoother. You can push easier. You're not twitching around as much. It's, that's just me, though. Half town option, I use eight to one. That's probably oh, why you're car. fucking moving around so much. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'd be up and down, up and down so much if I was using that tight of a steering box. Speed road is closed. I just closed. run my full speed back, so it, I guess, holds this line for me. They can say on a big track like this, you want it, you know, tight as a goose. 
Yeah, I like it. Lower because that way, you know, when you're running three wide, you know, you just hold the steady wheel and you're good to go. If you need to move just a hair, then it, it takes care of it. Just a hair, with eight to one, you're going to turn the wheel like two degrees and you'll be in the fence. The lower you run, the better for qualifying, too. Uh, I, well, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I do, talk. do, do, uh, do, do that for qualifying, but yeah, once I go to the you said doo doo. I know. Well, I probably, yeah. Somebody's gonna protest that. Better stop that nasty talk. I'll man. try that out. It ain't loud here. I would have thought mean, it'd be slower because every time you hit a bump with 8 to 1, it's going to force the car to move so much more because the steering wheel bounce more would mean the car would move shit. more. But I guess you can make finer. Finer um, steering adjustments and hold it to the bottom a little bit better. Defocation. I need to figure out what the I hell I did wrong with my coil lap. I think, I think maybe running the bottom leading up to the Two. start finish on the very very bottom probably wasn't a good idea. Bowel movement. <coughs> Let the one car by. Alright, so we're going to have one to green. When we go green, there's going to be seven to go, so we can't hang about. We need to somehow get to the lead. But unfortunately, we're going to have to push our way to the lead. No hanging back now. It's full foot to the floor. Bumper to bumper stuff. I just hope this guy's four car steering ratio doesn't screw us over. Let the one car by. He had the position when the yellow flag came out. How's your car holding up there, 11? You going to be able to get back up to the front here? Not likely. That's the spirit. Yeah, yes, uh... One we, we're all going to wreck and die at this rate, so I wouldn't be worried about what your car's like. When you came in the middle, you hit the tents right there, who was on the inside, and suddenly across the track, and then the whole track was blocked off. Yeah, I was behind the three and the four, and I checked up because I've seen them bobbing and weaving. And as soon as I checked up, I figured we all made it through there okay, and then next thing I know, I got turned. I think by the ten, but I think he got turned by somebody. Driving is the 24, I don't know if he came up or what happened, but he got hit in the back, got always came down, and then it, whenever he came down, he had it straight, and I had it straight, it would be fine, but it neck coated me in the right rear, took me right. Go figure. <sighs> that goes worse than the NASCAR than it used to be in the IndyCar. They're too worried about putting out stuff for dirt cars and not worried about the back end stuff. Yeah, there's four cars starting to bubble yeah, around as well. Backbone. Alright, so here we go. Seven to go at the line. The caution comes out on lap 35. The race is over. 35 onwards, if you see the yellow flag, the race is done. So we're going to have to hope to God we can get to the white flag. Still alive. But we can't hang about between now and then as well because we need to stay at the front. 23, you know your front left's all jacked up, right? Probably gonna get no hide from help from behind. Get ready, going green. All right, here we go. Come on, internet, just be nice to me for the next ten minutes. The pace car is in. Five minutes. Still bud. The next car's the leader. 
still there. Hold your line. Stay low. That's a smart move from the one car, really smart move. Don't side draft me, Still my internet's there. not right. Keep it straight. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. Get back in third, keep hustling, good job. Keep low. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Stay low. You've got five laps to go. Still there. Trying to keep this thing as straight as possible, but it's so hard. Still there. Stop moving. Keep low. Still there. Hold your line. Oh, I'm heating up. Overheating. I'm overheating. I'm going to have to get out of it. Keep 
Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. It blows, it blows. Keep low. If it blows, it blows. Line. Ah, good win, Blake. Got him! Got him the win. Oh, yeah, what did we get? Well, Third. That's alright. I thought, oh, I thought that was the biggest flag. <laughs> I was that into it. Great job. You did really Ooh. well. Third. I'll take Third. It's a good thing you didn't check it, but... Nah, I usually don't do that anyway. Very cool, guys. Man, that was fun. Oh. Good push of three. Cheers mate, good win. Oh man. Well we had a hell of a race for 13th there, Curtis. <laughs> what? Hey, nice don't run. you guys run the A cars too or y'all just run the B cars? Look at that. First, second, third and fourth finish. First, second, third and fourth. Right? <laughs> like one, two, three and four finish. This is way <laughs> That's better. awesome. Yeah, I ran the A car last night at the 945 session and this is Woo. you know ten times better in my opinion. Man, that was intense. That was very intense. Well, third place at Dega. We'll Good finish. I'll be back. We unfortunately couldn't get to the lead, so we were the ones that had to push across the line, but we managed to get a third place finish out of that with another. Just. Uh, she was going to blow. She was absolutely going to blow at this point. I think if it had gone maybe 50 more meters, she would have blown up, but I uh, we'll managed to grab third and get the one the win. So, there you have it. Third place after starting ninth. It's not a bad finish. But yeah, no, I definitely need to go and figure out what the qualifying deal is for the NASCAR iRacing Series race here. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's race. Definitely got a little bit crazy there at times. I apologize if I was the one that caused that wreck there by bobbling up and and checking up. It was just so hard to keep straight behind that four car, but we managed to be all right behind the one. He kept it a little bit straighter and smoother so we could push him a little bit easier, but nonetheless, it's just Dager and the way the racing is around here. But a third place finish in the three car, that is awesome. All right, guys, thanks once again for tuning in. Stay tuned for the NIS race here, and until next time, I'll catch you later.